morning it's another week so i thought i'd do another vlog um it's monday we've not done our morning walk we had what did we do this weekend i can't remember but i remember we were stressed so um we we're feeling a bit tired and drained because of that but we're determined to flip it on its head um i managed to get some artwork done which is good i did some painting so that's more stuff for the shop um i've just booked an optician's appointment to try and sort out this weird eye that I've got at the moment. So that's on Friday. Um, I need to go to the printers. Good news, Harry and Meghan have got engaged. I don't know if that's exciting to any of you, but it's always nice when people are in love and celebrate love, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've got a sponsored video this week, which means I don't have to rip my hair out for the next few weeks, stressing about how I'm gonna pay for Christmas and everything that's involved in Christmas, so that's good. I've had a pre-lunch bit of chocolate cake. That's all right, yeah? It's totally okay, don't judge me. So I'm back at my little art workstation. I'll show you what I did on the weekend. Did a little watercolor lemon. Uh, oh, where's they all gone? It's a bit of a worry. Oh, are they up here? Oh, did a little watercolour robin, uh, a little avocado, a little bit of donut, watercolour chips and a pizza. <laughs> Clearly food was on the brain. Um, so I think I'm going to do some beans on toast now because I want to complete um, an idea I had that involved the, the pizza, the chips and something else you'll see in a bit. I've just done a very quick watercolour of beans on toast to add to the design with the donuts and all the other things. You'll see what I want it to end up like in a minute. I put all the watercolours together uh, to do a little print that I think kind of sums me up quite well. If you've been watching me for a while or you just know me at all, you know that I love naughty foods. It's my downfall, so I thought this captured me quite well. Guys, I'm just absolutely shocked and overwhelmed. So. I have a very generous subscriber that sent me a box of things a few months ago. Just the most kindest, thoughtful gifts to make me feel better, to enrich the soul, to give me information, um, just to cheer me up. Just so beautiful. Um, it was very naughty because it was t the shipping costs were very expensive for them and he shouldn't have done it, but it meant a lot and it was really generous. And a box same size as the last one it has arrived today and it's just filled with presents and gifts and lovely notes and I just can't believe it see this lovely card thinking of you there is even a present for my mum so oh I, I, I can't thank you enough you know who you are I'll just say the first letter C you're so kind I, I, I'm just overwhelmed and these have made Cy very happy as well because these are some um, gluten-free, no dairy, no duts, a vegan, um, vegan sweet organic pups. So uh, the pup, oh, I just made up a word then, pops. <laughs> very excited to try these. Um, this is totally unnecessary. Don't think anyone ever has to send any of us YouTubers anything. It's not necessary. It's not part of the job. But a huge thank you because this is just so kind of you. So I've got this lovely pen. Look at this beautiful book that's got some lined paper inside so I can use that to keep organised, do sketches, do just creative things, any thoughts that come into my head. And then happy verses of the day. Save the rest for Christmas. So I've got something to open. I don't usually have many things to open on Christmas so it's lovely to have more things to rip apart and open so thank you. So I was being an angel and dropped me at the printer so I can pick up an order that I need to send to Australia. That's exciting, isn't it, that someone in Australia is going to have my artwork on their wall. That's pretty cool. How are you, Si? Good. Oh. How are you? Yeah, dropping things as usual. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 
guys, time to catch up. So, oh, last night I went to see um, The Disaster Artist, which is the new James Franco, Dave Franco film. Very funny. It's based on, I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, it's a film called The Room, and I'm not talking about the Brie Larson good film, I'm talking about The Room, which is the best worst movie ever. Like, shocking acting, a story that makes no sense whatsoever. Just hilarious. Basically, it's a... It's a film, I think James Franco wrote it as well, actually, um, about the making of that film, really. And he plays the main guy in it. Yeah, just funny. You can't... It's just... He's absurd. But anyway, I don't want to give it away, but definitely made me laugh a lot. I, I forgot that I'm... I said I'd go to Somerset today um, to see a relative of mine that's a bit poorly. Um... But today was also the only day I've got this week to do a sponsored video that's due Thursday. So I got up at 6 today to come down and film that. But unfortunately my kidneys are giving me gyps. So I spent between 7, 7 and half 7, yeah, uh, talking to a doctor on um, the Push Doctor app. Luckily they've um, agreed to do a prescription but only if I drop some urine in to the GPs. So... That's what today is looking like. Um, so hopefully that will just make me feel a bit better while I'm on the way to Somerset. Why does everything come at once? <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just filmed some of the sponsored video, but so early I'm pretty sure none of it made sense. Pretty sure this probably isn't making sense either. What's the time now? It's half eight. Oh God, this can't be good doing me good either. Um, so yeah, sorry, I don't have much else to say, I'm tired. It's moments like this that I really realise what my goal is. It's not to be rich by any means, but it's be, being able to knock myself into the ground or too hard on the days when I should be resting up. I just don't have a choice because it's the only money coming in and I have, so I have to do this. Like if, if I had stable income or enough money I would make the sensible thing to be like no I can't do it sorry but that's what I want to be able to be um, comfortable enough that I can listen to my body and not work when I shouldn't be working really anyway how's the eye doing today oh good have I filmed the whole video with that eye makeup good good <laughs> Hi guys, I'll catch up properly with you soon, but it's Thursday morning. It's still pretty dark outside. I'm off to London. I've got three press days to get through. I need to do them as quick as possible because I've still got this video deadline, which is tomorrow, and I've not filmed it, and it has to be good, and I'm stressing out. <laughs> oh, I'm on antibiotics, so I think there's some slight improvement in the bladder kidney area, so that's something to be positive about. I just need the next couple of days to be over and then I can sleep. <sighs> Sorry, this has been an absolute fail of a weekly vlog. I genuinely haven't had any time. I've barely had any time to 
eat meals this week. It's been a full on one, shall we say. So let's rewind. So I think it was last Friday I found out that I had a sponsored video and the turnaround was going to be very fast. It, we had I had till Thursday, so less than a week to do it, which might sound a, a lot of time, but usually you have sometimes a few months to plan and schedule these things. And it fell on a week that I was all, already pretty much busy every day. And with the limited light we have, yeah basically stressful <laughs> and then obviously on the weekends uh we allocate that time to go and see size mum and take her out for lunch or go for a walk and do something so the weekends are generally out as well in terms of getting work done um watched it back and realized it wasn't usable just because the lighting was so bad because it was so early in the morning and my lights just made it look like i was like in a nightclub filming a video so I realised that I got up early for no reason, stressed for no reason, and I'd have to reshoot whatever. So I went to Somerset, had a lovely lunch, um, lovely catch up with a relative, um, drove back, and then the next day had to be up first thing. Um, I had three press days, I had one in um, Oasis, and the collection is stunning like so many lovely things obviously it's for spring summer so it's a lot of stuff I can't wear now but I'm already excited to wear it ultra feminine as usual but lots of inspiration from the catwalks but done in a way that's very wearable for us normal folk um lots of uh, vintage inspired pieces some lovely floral prints some asymmetry and then next I went to a gifting um event with Task PR and they gave me some lovely I gave some Christmassy bits and some other bits and bobs which I posted on my Insta stories but I'm sure will feature in some reviews on my blog etc soon. We also made gingerbread men which was fun. Um, and then I had to shoot lots of insert clips around London to put in the video um, which is now live. It's the Choose Kind one so I had to go to Lush, had to go to the Choose Kind, uh, the Choose Love refugee store, um, body shop a few other places Ugh, don't remember. and then went to the Holland and Barrett showcase which is always one of my favorite press days because one it gives me loads of information about some you know products and health supplements and all that sort of stuff that will actually genuinely help me so it's always good to know about that they always have some really cool interactive stuff like I had a massage done and the woman was like oh my god you're so stressed and then she's like your shoulders feel like rocks that is quite a good impression, I might add. Uh, so that was lovely. It was a little bit painful, I guess, because I was so tense, but I, it did me some good. And had a manicure, and this is a vegan and cruelty-free brand called Pacifica. So then I rushed home, um, and I think it was still only like two-ish, so I thought I've still got some light left. So I chose that afternoon to try and film this video so the light was better, and thankfully it came out. Um, and so Thursday was mainly spent adding the inserts and editing, getting all the um, screen grabs of all the charities and all the logos and stuff, which actually takes so much time. Um, and then obviously I was waiting for the go ahead from the people that sponsored the video that it was OK, waiting for edit notes and all that sort of stuff. So it's always very stressful the day that um, a video is due to go live if it's that last minute. But thankfully, it all went up on time. I met my deadline. I just need more of you to watch it, so please. So just cooking up some dinner after a very, very busy long day, which I'll fill you in on tomorrow when I've got a bit more energy. So we're going to have some, what are they, Linda McCartney's? Linda McCartney country pies. Country pies. We're going to have it with some greens and some baked beans and some cheat mash. Cause what is it? Well, it's cheaty mash, isn't it? Because we've not made it. That's true. It's really naughty to do it like this, but some days call for cheats. It's not even special. Why are you even filming that? It's my weekly vlog. Oh, is it? Grumpy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Friday. Friday, I was ecstatic because I thought, finally, a stress free day. Um, so I got up, went to the opticians. I finally went to speak to someone about my twitchy eye. And he checked through everything, like did the most thorough testing you can do, did like the pressure test with the puff of air, looked under the microscope and then did the normal reading type stuff in the, the lights with the red and the blue lights. Um, and he said, ironically, it's the other eye that's having a bit more trouble focusing, but on the whole, it's fine. Um, I don't need glasses. 
he said, you're probably just a bit stressed and um, it might go, it might come back, but it's not going to affect your life hugely. So kind of, you know, just deal with it, deal with it sort of thing. Um, so this week I've spent over £80 pounds on medical bills, which is a little bit depressing. And that's actually, I think, all the money I've earned this week as well. So that's a bit sad. But, you know, that's what adulting is. Your money doesn't go on fun things all the time. It goes on just maintaining your life, maintaining your health, maintaining your home. And that's what being an adult is. So you can't really grumble about that. I took my last antibiotic last night. And unfortunately, I don't feel it's completely gone away. Because um, they gave me a smaller dosage, um, a three-day course instead of the five-day course. Even though I said last time it took five days. Um, I'm guessing they, they're trying to make me go to the doctors to um, talk everything over. So... That's what next week will probably look like. So Friday, that was yesterday, opticians, as I said, and then I went for pizza with my friend Holly. There I am in the Sleep Revolution. So next time you're in, where are we? Waterstones. Waterstones. Waterstones, see if you can find it. Good book, can recommend. And I'm not biased. <laughs> What's this book you've got, Holly, that you're... Oh, that classic. <laughs> I, I, no. <laughs> Which was the one you were just telling me about? This one. My mum swears by this book. And, uh, yeah, this man is pretty, pretty... The Don. Yeah, big deal. And this is on, this is on my list, on my reading list. I'm just getting through the each this whole the whole, <laughs> the, this whole is where we live. the whole section <laughs> quite a way to go but <laughs> <laughs> we're making progress aren't we yeah yeah right, it's the first of december so i'm gonna open the first window obviously <laughs> i've never had one of these posh calendars before in my life and this was sent by a lovely subscriber from america i don't even know what brand it is but all we can say is it looks very special Okay, number one. I almost don't want to ruin it. Can I do it and keep it all intact? Oh, day one. We have Pro Collagen Marine Cream, Pro Collagen Anti Aging. Okay, that speaks to me volumes. Ooh, lovely. And then Sai finished work at four, which is such a rare treat because he quite often does late these days where he comes in at half one in the morning um so we actually decided to go out for a pub dinner it was really yummy and it was a really cozy pub and it was really nice and today i think bed day most of the day but i've got one of my girly christmas dinners and it's just down the road so that's good like literally two minutes away um and it's like my oldest closest friends that i've known for like over 20 years and we're doing our annual christmas dinner so that will be lovely. And that's, I think we're all caught up now. Poof. Enough, enough of this, apologies. It's Saturday morning. So Sai's currently laughing his ass off downstairs because he decided to play my bum cheek as if it was a drum kit with some spoons and it wobbled. A good probably three seconds after he stopped playing the spoons. So that's made me feel really great about my lack of fitness. Anyway, so on that note, fitness and health, he's made me a very healthy lunch. I'll just show you. So in here we got rice, we've got sweet corn, we've got beans, we've got little bits of seitan here, which is fake meat for anyone else that doesn't know. And he's put a lot of herbs and spices in there as well, so it's not going to be as boring as it looks, I promise you. And I'm going to eat with a spoon because it's just easier. From numerous trips to the toilet, nothing has changed. But I have done two blog posts 
And by the way, please go and check some. I literally can't talk anymore. Go to my blog and can you just play around on it for a bit? Because I've just gone to WordPress from Blogger. Um, I'm slightly regretting it because it's a lot more complicated to use, but I'm hoping I'll get the swing of it quickly. I'm just hoping it'll make me look a bit more professional by being on WordPress. Um, so just check it's working for me and read the new blog posts and leave me a comment, please. Thank you. Um, size here, not communicating with me, just watching the football as usual. He keeps shouting really loudly because he doesn't know how loud he's being because he's got my earphones on. A little bit annoying, but that's life. So I'm ready to go out now, a bit early. <laughs> I'm always ready a bit too early. Um, I'm just wearing Nobody's Child play suit, super comfy, elasticated, so I've got room for lots of dinner and it's got pockets. Yeah! Um, just literally just done that with my hair just to zhuzh it a little bit. Um, smoky eye and a dark nude lip, a little bit gothy lip today. So yeah, ready to go. So we're doing some Secret Santas tonight, so I'm giving my friend Ellie this Soap and Glory Pink Pamper set. And then I've just found some, you know, beauty bit, bits that she might like. Uh, There's some sort of special nail thing, um, a tangle teaser, and some Dairy Monk Snowballs, which are absolutely delicious, I might add. Uh, the budget was £10, so I've got a little over, but I think that's all right. They won't be too cross. I'm going to bring these um, advent calendars with me as well, because um, how many of them? I think like 90% of the girls there are mums and I just sent a message to the WhatsApp group saying has anyone yet to buy their kids an advent calendar and luckily there are three kids that don't have an advent calendar so I've got one each for them which I can give over which is nice. I'm glad they found a rightful home so that's good. <laughs> I can only laugh at my efforts of wrapping. Oh my god what? I'm just never going to be one of those women that can pack things perfectly with perfect bows and ribbons and perfect corners. It's just not me. Oh well. At least they know it's from me. I'll give the secret Santa away. <laughs> Sunday, so Sai got in at 3 30 in the morning last night. Luckily, he didn't wake me up, he went in the other room. Um, but whenever he goes out with Matt Barnes, he comes back in a terrible state. So, Matt, I don't know if you're a bad influence, whether to Sai is very easily swayed. I expect it's a, a mixture of the both, if I'm honest. Anyway, so I don't think I'm going to get much communication out with him today, and we're definitely not going to be able to do anything because I don't think he's going to be able to tear himself out of bed. I don't think he wants to see any fellow humans, feel fresh air on his skin, anything like that. So I thought I'd be productive and scan in some more of my um, watercolours and try and make them into some greetings cards and get them made up in the next week. So maybe I can sell a few before Christmas, maybe, hopefully, make some money. Um, but I want to show you what I got from my Secret Santa last night. So my friend Ellie had me. And it's really sweet because none of that group of friends, they don't do social media, they're not on Twitter. They're, so because of that, they're not really aware of all the discussions around like cruelty free and turning vegan and things like that. None of them are vegan and none of them do cruelty free or anything like that. Um, mainly because of just they don't see what we see every day and have all the information we have about it all. Um, so I was really touched that Ellie went to effort to get me something vegan and natural. She got me these amazing bath bombs. Here's the thing. They're Christmas themed and they're by Bomb, which is says here, handmade and natural. I haven't actually had a look inside. Oh, wow, look. It's a little reindeer. 
Christmas tree. Oh, it smells amazing. Um, that's pretty, isn't it? So yeah, it's really cute and really nice and really thoughtful. So I was really touched about that. And she also got me some of my favourite sweets as well. So she knows me very well, sweet tooth. Because some diary clash, it's not all of our usual gang could be there last night. But either way, whenever we get together, we know we'll have a good time. We've been through so much together. And this year has been a particularly tough year for quite a few of the girls. So it was really nice that we could schedule it in still and have a good giggle and Every time we do get together, we do cry till we cry till we laugh, no laugh till we cry, and something ridiculous always happens. So, yeah, lovely night. My bladder is still misbehaving. I'm still going to loo all the time, so uh, I'm really a bit fed up about that, to be honest. Things I know it's going to mean I need to have quite a few tests now because it's obviously not right. I just don't want to have loads of tests before Christmas and potentially find out something I don't want to find out before Christmas. But it's that sort of thing you can't really put off because it's such a integral part of your day, just being able to wee like a normal person. So <sighs> I might be going for a walk with Holly again today just because we both want fresh air and both of our partners are obviously out of action, so we might do that. <laughs> Like frosted. Oh, okay, like, like slightly, blue, yeah, blueberry green. I think they're very Christmassy looking. Yeah. It makes me think of Phoebe. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look at those cute little ones in their red. <laughs> yeah, I think this is really sweet. Yeah, that is sweet. Very sharp. How much are those ones? Yeah. That's £40. That's pounds. I can't even afford a little tiny one. <laughs> but you can get a bigger one for that. Can you? Maybe it's just the... It's just sorry prices. Yeah. She says, and we have got one aubergine is one ninety nine. What? <laughs> Why do we live here? Yeah. I can afford. <laughs> I come here every week. Let me get some Oh, that's pretty. Baking. Baking potatoes? What roasting, though? Nice King Edward oh, yeah. or something. Oh, are they a King Edward's bake? I think that'd be good for roasting, yeah. I think so. You know your potatoes, don't <laughs> you? You think so, actually, but I, I cheat on my potatoes, so. Oh, I feel like I'm. No, because they look quite red. Go for these. You can do anything with these ones. I don't know, but King Edwards are red, aren't they? They're skin. Oh. This is how ridiculous Surrey is. You can buy individual <laughs> Yorkshire puddings frozen. Laziness. Lazy uh, rich people. 40 bloody peas. <laughs> <laughs> She's fuming. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're awake now, are you? <laughs>